back once again. John Thane wants to improve his image. Last week, shown the door by Bank of America. Now, Mr. Thane has retained the New York PR firm Sunshine Sachs and Associates, which is represented, among others, the actor Leonardo DiCaprio and the singer John Mayer. Mark Crumpton is here now with more on Thane's journey from Wonderkin to wondering what's next. Mark. Mike, thanks. Just four months after he engineered the sale of Merrill Lynch to Bank of America, John Thane is out of a job and looking to PR professionals for advice to repair his damaged reputation. Over the past several weeks, John Thane has received the type of attention that makes corporate heads duck for cover and corporate PR firms line up to stop the bleeding. When those in positions of power need to reshape or remake their image, is a PR firm a good first step? Mike Paul says in this case, yes. Paul is the president and senior counselor of the PR firm MGP and Associates. He says that Thane is definitely in damage control mode. His reputation has been damaged, and I think it's one of the reasons why he's looking for a PR firm that certainly has reputation management and crisis PR experience. Keith O'Brien is the editor-in-chief of the publication PR Week. He says a PR firm's first task is to let the client define his or her future goals. Whether it be, you know, finding employment at another company or uh, correcting any uh, misinformation he thinks out there. And also, you know, how he wants the, his perception to be. And then the crisis communications professional creates messaging around that. Um, you know, of course, uh, someone like Sunshine has a lot of experience in this uh, arena, so they should be using that experience to, um, you know, not just take uh, direction but offer advice. O'Brien says that Thane can navigate through the bad press concerning the size and timing of bonus payments to Merrill employees and the $1.2 million that was spent last year on renovations to his New York office. He doesn't have to apologize for business decisions that he felt were sound. Um, you know, he, he probably feels he has a, a legitimate business case for the bonuses. The office is one that he's focused on, and, you know, he's apologized for that. So uh, it's always important. It just has to be sincere. Mike Paul adds that for any corporate executive who finds themselves in the eye of a negative media storm, there is a way out, a set of what he calls bricks for an excellent reputation, truth, honesty, humility, transparency, accountability, and consistency. It is better and easier if you do it more quickly. The longer you take to get on the truth train, as I call it, uh, the more difficult it's going to be to clean up your act. But utilizing those building blocks is certainly going to help you. And humility is going to be at the top of the key. And Sunshine Sachs refused to comment, citing their client's confidentiality, Mike. I uh, also understand, Mark, there was news today regarding Bank of America and its, its uh, board, right? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, the bank electing three Merrill Lynch directors to the board. Uh, in a statement today, it says it added former IRS Commissioner Charles Rosati, former Miller Brewing Company executive Virgis Colbert, and the former ambassador to the People's Republic of China, Admiral Joseph Pruer. That according to a statement. All right, Mark, thanks a lot. Truth Train's got to move along there right now. There you go. Here we go, on the Truth Train.